It is Sunday, June 9th, 2024. It's about 7 in the morning. And uh, I saw number 19 coming up here. She's obviously a black cow, but she looked red in the sunlight. So I'm moving them to a new section, a new row. Uh, the plan is to move down this row, and then at the end, we'll, we'll get the area behind the pond. I just didn't want them to graze around the pond. So... Here comes blue. <laughs> so one of the things that um, I've thought about a lot is like, how do I tell if the sheep are limping, right? What are the signs that a sheep is limping? Especially what are the early signs, right? I want to know when sheep start to feel uncomfortable in their feet, hopefully I can get in there and uh, find the problem and fix it before it becomes, you know, a problem with all the sheep. And one of the things that I've noticed is back when I had that, remember some of the cows there are limping on their back leg and I haven't noticed any cows limping on their back leg lately. But what, I'm, what I noticed is that their heads and their backs indicate when they're walking uncomfortably. So, like this cow, this cow's pretty normal. I don't see anything that suggests that she's uncomfortable. You can see every step, the, the head motion, the back, is just behaving the same way for every step. If they had discomfort, they would arch their back for one of their feet or their head would kind of move in a weird way. You know, here's number 10. You can see every step she takes, her head is bobbing. What is that, Brownie? Being mean to number 10. Come on, guys. Come on. So, of course they're gonna cross the wire. Please don't. Yeah, these guys need to be castrated. They're getting to be that age. There's Yellow's calf, 46, I think. Yeah, I don't see any problems with any of these cows. They're all perfectly fine when they're walking. Here comes Blackie. I'm thinking Blackie is probably one of my top cows that I want to keep. The only thing that's going against her is she doesn't really have great condition. Um, I want to see what happens if I supplement protein um, on the summer grass. See if that makes a big difference. Metal tag. You're looking really good, actually. All right, three more little girls. Or some of them are boys. I guess they're all boys. Come on. Psst. It's about 75 degrees, 90% uh, humidity. Um, my... Uh, car windshield was, uh, the, the front window there was fogging up. Uh, this paddock, <clears throat> let's just go through this really quick. Lots of good summer grass, lots of leftover spring grass too. Um, so they should be getting a good balance of uh, dry matter and fresh greens. Not that it really matters because, oh look, there's some goat weed. That's at least a foot and a half tall. Hello goat weed. Um, so it should should have plenty of uh, good stuff for them to eat, but probably not as much protein as they would like. Right now I'm standing in kind of a, a thicket of this western uh, horse nettle. I've seen it called Carolinian horse nettle. This is a native species to the Americas. So uh, it is a noxious weed, however. So it's not something they should eat much of. And you can see this calf is nibbling at it. Um, so if this was the only thing out here <clears throat> and I turned them into pasture, they might end up dead or, you know, bloat or something like that. But since there's so much other forage, it probably isn't a problem. I'll let them do what they do to stuff. This clover here is still going strong. It's still green. Um, I see a bunch of that kind of clover all over the place. <clears throat> I'm glad for it. Uh, there's not a lot of 
things in the summer that um, uh, bring nitrogen down. I did not identify this plant. That looks like some kind of pumpkin or something. Huh. I'll have to take some pictures of this. Huh. I don't know what that is. I think this is the first time I've ever seen anything like this. So I'll have to identify this, assuming if I turn around and come back and it's still here, there's a chance the cows will just eat it and get rid of it. Um, but yeah, a lot of that horse nettle is in this corner of the pad paddock. Um, and I've seen them eat around it, so I'm not too concerned about it. And uh, otherwise, it's some pretty good forage, pretty deep forage. Here's a bunch of goat weed. Let me turn around and show you that. There, there's a kind of this white green um, bunch of goat weed here. Um, so this will be a, a goat weed stand. But I'm not seeing much goat weed otherwise. There's a couple over here. There's two right there. I'm not seeing much goat weed otherwise. So. It's just looking like a good paddock with lots of different things to eat. Um, this western side is more uh, Bermuda grass, but I imagine when I get to the eastern side, it's going to be more of that Dallas grass. So that's what I got for you guys. Not much else to talk about. So have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.